<sighs> hey peeps, Dead Buck Davies out, and today I'm actually riding a Benelli 502C. Um, this is going to be a very quick video because this is actually a demo bike which is from Power Biking in High Wycombe, who, well, not many people know that they actually um, are now sellers of Benelli's and Royal Enfields and Sims and what else did they do? There was quite a few Mondials and all sorts of stuff. They do quite a few things as well as Yamaha. But this is their new demo. Um, I'm the actual first person to ride it, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I've got about 20 miles on it, so... Well, I've just put the first 20 miles on it, so... I've got it for a couple of days, breaking it in for them. So, I don't know much about this bike. I know it's A2 compliant, straight from the factory. Um, it's pretty obvious it's designed to look like the Ducati Diavel. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, good things about it actually, I've only in 20 miles I've actually got quite comfortable with it. It's not really made for me. Um, I've ridden the TRK before, I never did a video, but the TRK is definitely more suitable for my body. Sorry if you can't hear me that well because it's quite windy here. Um, but yeah, I find the riding position on the TRK much more comfortable forward um, positioning on this I find a little bit I find it comfortable but it's just not for me and the the arch on the seat seems to make my back uh, sit at a funny angle because I can't really find a massive the com no it's not massively comfortable I'm, I'm a bit big for it I think my backside's a bit big but I'm I'm about six foot tall and I'm about 16 stone so the seat is quite a squished um, it's not like I'm that fat or anything, but there you go. I'm not fat shaming myself. Um, but yeah, let's have a bit of a walk around it and I'll start up in a minute. Um, bad points, I can't really give it any at the moment because pff, I've only done 20 miles on the thing. I think it is a really, really good looking bike. Um, I'm not sure on the price of this bike, but I'm probably going to take some pictures and I'm going to upload them and put them on the screen somewhere here or take over the whole thing. I don't know, but I'll do that now hopefully um, but yeah I think it's actually a really good looking bike you get the backrest um, this is how it comes out of the tray you can actually take this off and there's another thing that sits in there and it sits flush and it actually says Benelli and it lights up when you do the brakes I believe um, also another good thing don't know if you can see it there comes with Pirelli um, yeah, Pirelli Angel GTs. These are really good tyres. I had them on one of my KTM's before. Really good tyres. I'm still not sure on the um, the hugger, but I think it's actually for that sort of design. It's quite neat. It's got the indicators in, you know, integrated into it. Pretty good. Quite like it. Um, I find it quite a strange. Hang on, swing a leg over it. Ah, oh, yeah. Like the bars are excessively wide. They really are wide. So it's kind of a yeah, you find yourself not necessarily in a wind tunnel, but you get blasted by the wind, which I, mm, I'm not overly impressed with, but I actually really like it. Um, you do get three keys. One of the keys is one like this, which is a, a fold-up one, like a car. The other one is just two normal keys. Um, switch gear is pretty normal. You know, hot pass like there, high beam, indicators, horn, hazards, start, kill switch. That's the mode button which trips between... Um, you know, trip one, trip two, and ODO. Anyway, to show you the dash, it is a colour TFT. As you can see, 19.1 miles, so it's basically brand new. So I'm not going to be revving it or anything like that. Oh, sorry, I'm swinging the leg over. Oh, I'm not going to be revving its nuts off because it is a brand new bike. But I will give it a walk around. I think the light is pretty cool. That's for sure. I don't know what it's like because it's not even dark. But it's a single LED, cool looking thing. And then when you put it on high beam, they all light up. To me, I'm not sure what everyone else thinks, but to me, they look like, um, it just looks like the face off of um, Independence Day, the aliens off of that. Um, I think it does look very alien-ish, like the mud guard as well, the way it's designed. It looks kind of um, xenomorphish, like aliens, especially in the black. 
I like it a lot. The engine note is quite nice. Um, I find the engine note to be very t maxy It kind of sounds like a, a big scooter. There's like the back end of it. it. Doesn't sound like a parallel twin to me. Um, hang on one sec. There's a little burble there. Oh, I'll just do the indicators as well so you can see them. Quite nice. And that's what they look like from the back. Let's turn that off. Yeah, as I say, they um they now have these as this is the demo at Power Biking in High Wycombe. Um, I believe they are getting others. They have a TRK there at the moment. Um, I think they are getting more Benelli's and more Royal Enfields in sometime soon. But who knows when? But I'm just using this for now. First time I've ridden them. Um, I already rode the TRK as I mentioned, so I already know the engine is actually pretty good. It's People think it's only a 500, so they don't think it's actually that strong, but it's, it's pretty pokey. It's, it's a lot stronger than people might think. It's got a nice bit of mid-range and low end. Um, obviously it tails off towards the top end. Um, but it doesn't actually feel, I hate to use the word budget, um, it doesn't actually feel like a budget bike. Um, the brakes feel pretty good. Obviously the front brakes, they look like old school um, Brembo's that you used to get on old um, Aprilia's, like the Dorsodoro's and the Shivers. They look like the kind of the, the cheap Brembo's that they used to supply. They're okay. They're not um, not going to set the world on fire. Same as the um, the engine, you know, it's not going to rip your head off. But it's kind of just exactly what you want for the road. It's just just about perfect. And it's as I say, it's A2 compliant out the box, so it's going to tick a lot of people's boxes. Especially when you can get the TRK 502, um, as well as the X version, which is the taller one, as well as this and the Leoncino as well, or Leoncino or whatever you pronounce it. It's one of the two. You know they're co they're covering a lot of bases, so yeah, I think it will be a success. And I think the more people that actually come and test ride it, you know, if there's one a dealer in your area, go and test ride it because I think you might be pleasantly surprised. I'm presently surprised by this, but as I said, I think if I had a choice between the two and I had to buy one, I'd get the 502 um, TRK X, the um, the spoke version wheel. So sorry, the spoked wheel version. Um, but I really like the look of this one, but I think it would be more of a, a tour, a cruiser, which is kind of what it's made for. You know, I wouldn't be going two up and going touring all over Wales or Scotland with it, but I really like it. I think they are, I think the prices have changed now, so I think everything's gone up recently. So these were around six mark, I think they're around five eight or five nine on the road. Um, one thing I noticed when I was in the shop is to definitely realise that there's two prices for these bikes and they even advertise it in the shop, there's two prices. One of them, I can't remember what they were for this because it didn't have a ticket on it. Um, one of them is not the on-the-road price and then the other one is the on-the-road price. So a lot of people are coming into the shop or going online and they're advertising these at a certain price but it's not the actual on-the-road price. So do remember that there will be say 100, 150 or 200 quid depending on whatever MotoGB um, dictate. So this is basically MotoGB are the company that import Benelli's, Sims, Keyways, Royal Enfield. They import all of those so you know that's where the, that's where you can find out the exact price if need be. Anyway I've already said I'm not gonna waffle and I've already turned it into a mini video. Yeah um, great bike like the look of it it's gonna tick a lot of boxes um, for many people um, as I said, I've got a 32 inch inside leg and I can flat foot easily um, with a bent knee as well. So you can touch the floor on it very, very simply. Engine sounds nice, engine's quick enough. Um, reliability wise, I don't know because, yeah. I know that the TRK is the biggest selling bike apart from 125 scooters in Italy, so it can't be um, that bad for reliability, otherwise, it wouldn't be such a huge seller. Um, as I said, brakes are okay. 
um, lights I can't mention on, but they look very good. Um, it doesn't mean they're going to work well at night, but that's something I can't test. I might be able to test over the next couple of days, so if I do, I'll add a video onto this maybe. Um, but yeah, everything's really good. Dash is really readable. Um, switch gear is nice and positive. It's you know, nice click. It's not, you know, when you're cancelling the indicators or anything like that. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I like it. It's very nice and flickable. It comes with great tyres. Really good tyres actually from the off. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything that I really dislike. Mirrors are nice. You can see behind you very nicely, which is a rare thing now. Um, don't really get any vibes through them, so yeah, I really like it. A lot of people would say that the dash is very small. It's a very similar size um, to the new MT-09, the TFT. This bit is actually a similar size to the MT-09 TFT. But it's very readable, just like the MT-09s. So, yeah. What I'll do is I'll just gonna have a little scoot around the bike. See, so you can get some heavy shots. Really have some music here tonight. It's great. It should be like bow chicka bow wow. Bow chicka chick down ding ding dip up chicka bow bow. But I haven't got any music so I'm not adding any. Yeah. This will give you a nice sort of a an idea of what sort of quality you're actually getting for your money. And let's face it, in a world like today, we all want something which is good for its value. Not necessarily cheap, because cheap is not a nice word. But cheap does not necessarily mean bad. So, you know, if it's affordable, it's kind of like what Yamaha did when they bought out the MT-07. They, they made that cheap, but it wasn't classed as cheap. It was an affordable bike wasn't classed as cheap. That's not how they made it. Swing arm's cool, some tubular. That shouldn't be on there. I'll take that with me, I'm not gonna litter. Yeah, I think it's a nice looking bike. I really, really do. It'd be interesting to get some more mileage on it and just see what it kind of does to the gallon. To be honest, I'm not gonna get the opportunity to do that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get out because I've got stuff to do tonight and I've kind of gone on a little bit of a run to get this broken in a little. So yeah, this has been a 13 minute video of waffling about a bike that's not on board, but it's more of a promotional thing for this bike and letting people get aware that um, Power Biking in High Wycombe are now dealers for this bike. This will be their demo. Um, it will be available in the next week or so, um, but yeah give them a call um, yeah book a test ride come down have a look at their stock see what they've got in and yeah I think you may be pleasantly surprised come down and give it a test ride anyway Deadbug Davey is out